beautiful friends, it is a Monday. Guys, yesterday, oh my God. So yesterday marked 10 years that I've been at Sips. And my boss did this whole surprise thing. I had no idea. Um, Don apparently knew about it. And every Sips employee that ever was knew about it. Current Sips employees knew about it. Everyone knew about it but me. So that concert we went to that I vlogged last, um, we didn't get out till like midnight, something like that. Yeah, so I didn't get home till like 1.30. And then I had to wake up and open and I was so tired, and I get there, and my boss is like, surprise, happy 10 years, and handed me a latte, it was like my favorite latte, and then I started noticing, like, all these things that she did, uh, first of all, all the food specials this week, all the special wrap, the salad, and the sandwich is named after me, I'll put some pictures up on the screen, that you can see as I'm explaining it. So all the specials were named after me. Um, there is this board in the back that was like 10 quirky things about me or something like that. And it had all of these pictures from like the 10 years that I've been there. Like crazy ones. Like there is one with me in blonde hair and shorts. Who allowed me to wear shorts like that? I have no idea. I don't even wear shorts anymore. I hate wearing shorts. Um, what else? Oh, she got me. There were flowers, some roses, and cupcakes, and uh, oh, the, the, there's a drink special. My favorite drink was up on the drink special, um, and it is a pink cup and it's the beasting latte which is my favorite latte ever there was a giant card that everybody has been signing and it's still signing like I haven't touched it I haven't read it yet because Lauren's like oh well, let's let's leave it out and then when you leave for vacation you can take it with you so I'm like okay so I haven't even read that yet I'm sure it's extremely touching and it's going to make me cry. It just, yesterday was so emotional. Like, I I can't believe it. My dad and Don came for lunch after my shift. That was pretty cool. Don was like, surprise! I was uh, in the area. Like, you were in on it too? What the hell? <laughs> but it was cool. It's, it's an honor and it was just overwhelmingly emotional. My boss wrote this card that was so sweet. I cried. Um, it was crazy. It was insane. It, it was more than it was more than expected for sure. And I had I had no idea. Like I knew my 10 years was in April and I didn't know when it was. So it was really awesome. I was so happy and you know that joy kind of continued on today and just made me it just it just warmed my dang heart gosh darn it um so yeah so that was all yesterday and it was just it was such a crazy day the, the night before that I didn't get any sleep so I just I literally went home and I slept and I'm still tired now I don't know how I'm tired apparently I'm too old to stay up past midnight at a in a metal show and I'm not allowed to eat greasy food anymore. That's apparently what happens when you're over the age of 30. Chelsea from the future, as I procrastinate trying to pack for North Carolina, um, what you are about to see are tiny, tiny clips of the brand new studio because by accident I hit play because I'm so used to hitting play from vlogging. Uh, you're going to see tiny, tiny clips of the new studio. Guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So here's those tiny, 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 tiny clips. Enjoy. Oh. 
I just wanted to show you guys how special this so this is my card that's been sitting up here I love it there there I am making lattes and stuff and so many people have signed it I have a lot to read and I'm going to read every single one of these because they're so They were, they're so special. Like, every single one of these are. I love it. My coworkers, and this is customers, and I love it. I love it. This is, this is so special to me. Forever and ever. Hey guys! Oh, what's up? It is Tuesday. It's 4 o'clock. Oh my god, I'm running around everywhere. I literally leave Thursday morning at 5 o'clock in the morning. Like, my dad is picking me up at 5 o'clock in the morning to leave for North Carolina. I have not packed. I have to teach tonight, teach tomorrow morning, and work zips close. When am I going to pack? Not to mention, I can't even pack until my clothes are like I, I have to do laundry before I can pack I am freaking out I am freaking out I just went to Target and got snacks to eat in the car because my my dad's idea of snacks are not very healthy so I got my own snacks um, I got some V8 energy cans I don't know what you call them but uh, I would imagine that's a little bit healthier than soda I'm just I have to wrap Kinsley's birthday present because that needs to be like ready to go. I, I don't know. Like, I don't know a bag I want to bring. That's like bring your little small suitcase, and I'm like, I guess I'm like literally packing for like four days, three days, maybe. Uh, it's too much too much. It should not be this hard to go to North Carolina for like three or four days. It shouldn't be this hard. But because I have two jobs, it is that hard. I think my game plan is when I get home, I'm going to throw clothes in the washing machine like right away. Even though my brain is like, are we going to nap? Are we napping? We should nap. Um, so I'm going to do that fold what I already have washed and dry that's sitting on the pool table get that situated and then try to figure out outfits. I gotta find my flip flops too. It's snowing here in New York still but it's warm and sunny in North Carolina so I need to find my flip flops oh god I don't know where my flip flops are 